guy or anything, but I don't want him seeing anyone else. Someone else like me? Exactly. Okay, we have to get him back around your little finger. <laughs> You've got the look. Now, do you got the attitude? I've got the attitude. You're getting there, but you have to be more assertive. Just get in there and take back what's rightfully yours. Okay, I can do this. Boys? Girls? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. In private? Like over there? I'll follow you anywhere. So? So? Do you want to go see a movie? Tonight? Sure. I'll pick you up at seven. Sharp. Okay. Good. So, what's up? Nothing. What? The clinic called with the results of your blood test for your mother's bone marrow transplant. Was I a match? Sorry, my boy. But you are. Hey, don't worry. You'll be fine. They put you right out. But it has to happen sooner than later. What do you mean? The hospital's booked you to come in tomorrow. Hey, proud of you. We're both proud of you. How big is this needle, anyways? Hey, don't worry. We'll be with you all the way. Hey. Hey. What's new? Crystal's a match for Mom's bone marrow transplant. That's great! Yeah. What? The goal, done to leave. Well, that was just... Check, I gotta go. They're shutting down the band office for the night. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow? Yeah. This is weird. What is? Well, usually the guy takes the girl home. Hmm, well, uh, welcome to the new millennium. So, uh, what do you look for in a guy? You know, do I measure up? Measure up? I think you know what I mean. Well, you are pretty good looking. I mean, that's mm. always a bonus. Kind of funny. That's it? <laughs> well... There is one test that you haven't taken yet. And that is? Wow. Want to uh, stay for a bit? Because my parents won't be home for a while. I, uh, I should really get going. My dad really needs his car back. I had a really good time tonight. Me too. You sound so surprised. I am. <laughs> so, did I pass the test? Just saying he was smart and sensitive and a great kisser. Who knew? We're going out again tomorrow night. Really? 
Changing the way I played the game made all the difference in the world. So, when will I know if the transplant's been successful? Well, they'll monitor mom's white blood cell count, and if it's all good, it'll go up somewhere between 30 and 100 days after the procedure. The thing we'll have to watch out for most are infections. Well, we better pray hard then, huh? You're gonna be a part of me. That's so special. Well, it's more luck than anything. I just happen to be a match. I mean, could have been anyone. Everything happens for a reason, my girl. Time to get ready. There will be some pain and discomfort associated with the procedure, as well as some dizziness and drowsiness in the aftermath. Get set lately? Not lately. Someone post a new question. My best friend has a new boyfriend and I'm afraid I'm losing her. How can we remain best friends while she's in a relationship? Signed Third Wheel. Nice replies. Third Wheel has to get a life. Just move on. Shouldn't there be a renegade response? We'll get to it. I'm going out with Heath tomorrow night. Really? When did that happen? Today. Huh. So you like really into the guy or what? Yeah, he's all right. You want to go on a double date? Me and Heath, you and Dylan? Sure. Cool. Jack. Even with Crystal as a match, there's no guarantee this procedure will work. No, 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 it has to work. But you have to be prepared in case it doesn't. Remember that time when Uncle Elvis and I, oh, partied all night and wound up and carry the kettle. And you had to call Aunt Susie to come get you the next day. Yeah. When I got back, you were different. Something in your eyes. And it was more than you just being mad at me. You knew I wasn't always going to be there for you. That you had to look out for yourself. You were five years old, Jack. I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry I forced you to be a little man at so young an age. But I need you to be that man now. Because if I don't make it through this, your sister is going to need you. I need to know I could count on you to be a strong one. Okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Hey, stranger. Where have you been hiding? Hospital. Right. Bone marrow thing. How'd it go? According to plan. Now we just wait and see. <clears throat> Have you uh, seen this renegade question from Third Wheel? Yep. How do you think we should respond? Tell her to get a new best friend. <laughs> nice. Well, what? How do you want to respond? Dad, it's me. Just wondering how Mom and Crystal are doing. So, give me a call, please. Cole Rocky Boy offline. <sighs> yeah, so, uh, you know, for a chick flick, it was all right, but you know, I could tell by the way they kissed, the actors weren't really into each other. Hmm, Mr. Expert on kissing over here. I do my best. So, what did you think of the movie? It was all right. So, uh, can I give you a ride home? Actually, um, I wanted to talk to Zoe about something. It's just girl stuff, but... Um, okay. Sure. Not on a first date. You're kidding, right? Whatever. Good night. Good night. Do you want anything? I'm good. I was so sure we were gonna get some tonight. Ah, eh, not me, man. I wanna. Uh get to know Zoe more before I go that far. Okay, this is me you're talking to, remember? <laughs> okay, you got me. Uh -huh. I cannot believe how good a kisser Dylan is. It's like he knows exactly when and how much to tilt his head. How many guys have you kissed anyway? Um... Four? How many guys have you kissed? Five. How come you didn't kiss Heath? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. What? It's just... My father. Your father what? Nothing. Crap! Oh, 
Dylan forgot his scarf here. Um, I think I'm gonna try and catch up with him. Mind if I come over to your place and hang out for a while? Uh, tonight might not be good. Victoria's been so cranky lately, which means that my dad is really cranky too. Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Infection has caused her system to crash. What's going on? A lung infection caused her system to crash. Easy, easy. Come on, stand clear. Okay. She's okay. We better go check on your sister. Well, I'll be right there. Kisser. Uh, I try. Know when and how to tilt your head just right? I thought I'd see for myself. Whoa. Hey, your hey. boyfriend just made a pass at me. She came on me. He's lying. She's lying. She came to me and started saying I tilt my head when I kiss and now she wanted to see for herself. I, she's crazy. I'm telling you. Stop. What are you doing? Are you trying to steal him from me? No. I just wanted to show you that, that he wasn't all that. Since none of the regular renegadepress.com people could be bothered to answer Third Wheel's question, I guess I will. So how do you keep a best friend once they've started going out with someone? Maybe you can't. I mean, life's a bitch. We all have ups and downs. And we all have problems. We're all messed up to some degree. But if your friend isn't around for you, if they're not there to hear what you're trying to tell them, maybe they weren't really a friend in the first place. And that may not be their fault because maybe you were fooling yourself in the first place. 
So yeah, she made it through. Wow. Were you scared? Damn right I was scared. And now it's just a waiting game? Yep. Oh. I wish I could be there with you. Me too. And since girls tend to pick the guy over the female friends anyway, my advice for you, third wheel, is move on. Just move on. RenegadePress.com online. Check it out. Let us know what you think. About the show, about life. Talk to us. RenegadePress.com online. Be there.